So I have a confession to make. Um, I actually got a pretty great response from the video that I posted. Actually, I didn't expect any response at all. It was really just me posting it initially, really just for my family and friends. And then I've had a few people send me an inbox saying that they couldn't share the video and they wanted to share, which, you know, still kind of baffles me to some degree. Because again, I, I really didn't set out to do anything significant. I was really just sharing what was going on in my journey. But one of the things I noticed is at the end of the video, there was a challenge. And then in the post that I put, I requested that you put, you know, whatever it is you're gonna push yourself to do. And a handful of people did it, but the majority of you didn't. And a lot of folks say, you know, waiting for the next video, or can't wait to see. And while it's, it's cool and I understand sometimes you want to live vicariously through others, at the end of the day, it's, it's not about me or what I'm doing so much as what is it that you're doing to, to push yourself, to, to challenge yourself, to live life like today is your last day. With that being said, one of the hardest things to do is to let somebody else know what's in your head. A friend of mine told me a while back, she was like, you know, when you dream, you know about it. But when you share it, it becomes a vision. And now you're held accountable because you told someone else. And now they're going to ask you. They might not, you know, call you every day and say, hey, how's the project going? Or how's the weight loss going? Or how's whatever going? But the fact that they know that you said you wanted to do something, the fact that they'll simply ask you about it sometimes pushes you to, to do more. Uh, because you know, oh, if I see so-and-so, they're going to ask me about whatever it is you said that you were going to do. So I'm putting the challenge back out there. You know, what is it that you, you want to push yourself to do? Whether you know it or not or believe it or not, that son was killing me. Me simply recording that first video and this one is a challenge for me. Some of you don't know, and I know some of my, <laughs> some of my family doesn't quite agree, but I'm an introvert. So I like to keep to myself and I'm not really all about, hey, look at me. In my younger days I was, but what I realized was that was driven by insecurities. It was like I needed external validation. I'm older and wiser and much more mature. I don't need anybody to validate me. I don't need anybody to celebrate me. I don't need anybody to recognize me because the person who truly validates me and recognizes me is up there. And I know that I'm, I please him. So with that, I'm pleased. So when you see these videos, it is not about me. It's not about, hey, look at me, look at what I'm doing. It's really about, look at what's out there. I've been inspired by other people's travels, other people's pictures, other people's videos. And it wasn't because they were like, hey, look at what I'm doing, wish you were here, or hey, look at what I'm doing, you're not, you're a loser. There are people who do that. I'm not that guy. I've already recorded quite a few videos and I haven't posted any one because my phone doesn't work over here, which is also a blessing. So I pretty much can only post when I'm on Wi-Fi, which is when I'm back at the hotel. So. I also want to live in the moment and not be so attached to social media. And I had a tremendous <laughs> response to that, the first video. And my phone was just blowing up. You know, when I got back to the hotel, it was like, you have 35 comments, you have 50 comments. And I'm like, wow, where is this coming from? And I prayed about it, you know, because I'm like, all right, Lord, it's not about me. And honestly, I still don't know what it was in that first video that connected with people but apparently something did so I do have videos I'm not sure if I'm going to post all of them I may or may not but from what I'm gathering from when I prayed and what I'm hearing those of you who are following this because you truly want to push yourself it's not about what I'm experiencing over here so much as one what I'm experiencing internally but more importantly, what are you experiencing, you know, internally? What is it that, that pushes you? What is it that makes you want to see the video? What is it that you wish you can do? What is it that you regret you never did? What is it that will make you feel better about yourself? Not because of how others will think of you or how others will see you, but what is it that will make you feel like, 
I'm happy with what I did. I'm happy with what I didn't do because sometimes it's not doing things. You know, and, and that's the beauty of, of wisdom. Intelligence will get you in trouble because you know what to do. Wisdom is knowing when to do it. And more importantly, when not to do it. Because I have a lot of very smart friends who make very dumb mistakes because their intelligence gets them in trouble. Because they know they can do something or they know how to do something, but they don't know that sometimes you don't need to do it. And sometimes you need to wait to do it. So, I don't know. I'm still overwhelmed by the response. I got a lot of messages in my inbox, a lot. I've gotten friend requests from people who I have no mutual friends, so I'm guessing you guys are sharing videos and they're seeing it on a friend's friend's post or something, which is still kind of strange. But with all that being said, I welcome you to join me in the journey and pushing yourself, challenging yourself, and most importantly, sharing it. Share with us, let us know what is it that you want to do. And the thing about it is it doesn't always have to be something super grand like, you know, I want to sky jump or, you know, jump off a cliff or bungee jump from the Grand Canyon. It can be something as simple as, like with me recording this video, that's a big deal. Um, going on a trip with no itinerary, that was a big deal. Going on a trip with one pair of shoes. To you, it might seem trivial, but to me, that's huge. It's a big deal. So don't feel like whatever your thing is is not big enough or not grand enough because the thing about it is all of us have things we want to do. And it's really like a bucket list challenge. So all these things that you, know, you want to do, and I, I'm going to post more of the things that I want to do. Like one is I want to go to a Brazilian steakhouse. I've never been. It's not a big deal. It's not like I've never had the money to go. I, I've just never gone. And it's just one of those things I want to do. So at some point when I get back home, I'm going to have me, I'm going to go to a Brazilian steakhouse. The crazy part is when I have the time to go, I don't have the stomach to go. Because from what I understand, they give you a lot of meat. So I'm like, nah, I don't want to go in there and get two slices of meat. I want to go in and go ham. So that's one of my bucket list <laughs> challenges. So with that being said, I'm about to go try to find my way back to my hotel. I recorded a video earlier, videos actually. I don't know if I'm going to post them or not. Probably will. But getting out here, I mean, was it Parco de Leonardo, I think? Parco Leonardo? It's like their version of Atlantic Station. I don't know if you can see that. That's the mall back there. These are like apartments or condos. And I'm actually standing at the doorway of another... Well, that's their mailbox, um, apartments, condos, whatever these are. So I think the video is getting long, so I'm about to get on. See you in the next one, as they say over here. Ciao.